What's happening? What's up, dude? <laughs> Did you brush out your pen dragon? <laughs> no, that one's from last year. <laughs> <laughs> you got roughed up. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. That is a good thing. The old tooth comb. <laughs> Dom Swintowski. What do you want to say to Dom? Hitting the road. It says, hitting the road. Done. to exactly explain the excitement because it fits into such a unique category of fishing slash hunting but it feels like its own thing I feel like almost over the years of fishing at night these stretches of river it's like my eyes don't know it as well as my feet do and I like know the yeah, bottom yeah. it could be the night yeah. of a two yeah. foot fish of a two-foot fish. <laughs> My white whale. <laughs> <laughs> when you know your fly is drifting right over a place where where you've seen and felt the water erupt before in the middle of the night, the That's cool. Yeah, there's nothing quite like that moment. Like no. even just the anticipation. Not even like the, the take itself, but the anticipation of like I know I know what's probably there. After the drakes hit, which they're they're pretty much wound down now or, or yeah. winding down, that kind of marks the beginning of of good night fishing. And so, and there's obviously like, we've got a lot of ideas and reasons for that. But yeah, I think it's interesting to think about the the impact of the different hatches and how that influences the start of night season for mm. us, and also just time of year and sheer like numbers of bugs on the water falling into the water, the moths, the yeah. birds yeah. falling out of nests, mice, etc. Yep. There's just frog activity. All kinds frogs, of stuff, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. I just feel like you add Bunch up. Bunch of deer. Look at that. Oh yeah. Alright. Yeah. The other thing I love about night season is that it it officially marks the beginning of archery preparation for deer <laughs> That's <your> true. <laughs> That's true. Those two things coincide. <laughs> and sure enough, you and I both started shooting our heavy arrows last week. Yep. Switching from target setups to hunting setups. Yeah. Yeah. Which is exciting too. Yeah. I think we talked about this on the podcast, but what do you think it is about night fishing that feels more like hunting than fishing sometimes? I think it's like one aspect I think is we're seeking like a more elusive and a rarer prey you yeah. know like yeah. and, I, and I think it's some of it is how we night fish in terms of the size of our flies and sure. um, we're, we're seeking out like that top end fish in a particular watershed and so that feels a little bit more like selecting a buck or targeting a particular buck um the sheer excitement oh, yeah. over that individual quarry mm -hmm. versus like our typical day fishing you know yeah. your numbers are going to be there for you to be excited about every fish but it's a more diluted kind of excitement yeah. the kids are asleep yeah which is great yeah well we hope so. i hope they're asleep i don't think mine are actually yet <laughs> might account for the texts that I keep getting. Our three oldest were, I think, asleep when I left. <laughs> hey, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. <sighs> it's game time. It's game time.
twisted my uh, I twisted my ankle running down mountain in me the other day. I think yeah, I'm gonna be really thankful for these higher boots tonight. in the air. I saw a lot of bait fish in the shallows. So That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Hopefully they're looking up. And if not, it feels like they're looking up. It feels like they're looking up. Yeah. If not, we'll go down and get them. You ready? Sure am, man. Let's do this. So Doc and Darling went night fishing without me. You saw him text me there, but I couldn't make it. But I guarantee you, I know a couple of the night flies that they'll be fishing. And one of them is this one. We call it the Bad Mother. Something we've been fishing for a long time. Um, you've, we've talked about this fly on the podcast. Uh, I've referenced it in the Night Fishing for Trout series on the website. And I'm, I'm sure that someday we'll do a dedicated uh, video on this fly, the Bad Mother. But for right now, let me put the recipe for this fly in the description below everything you need to tie it. And let's get a close up on this and I'll tell you about it. Here's the bad mother. So the material links below lead to precision fly and tackle. This is one of our favorite fly shops and we get a lot of stuff there. Precision has been a great supporter of the trout bitten project for the last few years. From rods and reels to waders, boots, and everything else you need to get out on the water. Precision is staffed with a friendly, knowledgeable group of anglers to help you out. They have a wide selection of tying materials too, and all the stuff you need to tie this bad mother is right there in the shop. So let's look at this real quick. This is a lightweight but strong A-Rex Trout Predator Light. Choose the size you want, but I usually tie it on a number one or number two. This fly is pretty simple. Start with a classic marabou tail, and then palmer a couple more pieces of marabou around the hook shank. Then you're left with a full body of fluffy, wavy feathers that sit in the water and just move and undulate when wet. Next, I tie in this foam tab. It helps add buoyancy because I want the head of this fly on top of the water. Sometimes I actually trim this foam tab while on the water if I want to fly riding even more in the surface film. Now the last part is the deer hair head. I like a sort of mushroom shape to this and I want it full because I want a lot of buoyancy. So I use a lot of deer hair and pack it in pretty tight. The Bad Mother is an amazing fly for us. So this is part of a group of flies that we call mousy mergers, where the head of the fly sits up top on the surface, or maybe just slightly in, and the back end of the fly is just dangling. So you can get all the materials at the uh, Precision Fly Fishing links in the recipe below. And if you want 10% off your order, use the code TROUTPITTEN10 at checkout for whatever you put in your cart. All right, let's see what Doc and Darling got into this night. How are you, how are you, how are you feeling? You, kind of, you wore a few layers tonight. No, <laughs> you thought it was going to be a little cooler than, than it is? Yeah, I'm feeling toasty. Yeah? Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling uh, like I want to sink into the water up to my neck. Yeah. Because <laughs> the water's nice and cold. But... 
yeah, he took the tag, so I'm trying to think what that will mean. We'll see what, what action we get, but he came up and took it close to the top. Yeah, exactly. That's because he was little. That's because he was small. That's, he's, he's great, but he's not the one we're looking for tonight. Yeah, we've got some, there's some dinosaurs out there. Yeah. Let's go get them. I feel like I should make fun of you for calling it a dinosaur. For all fishermen, let's, let's make fun of me for calling it a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> nice and let's and just call it a big fish. Just a buttery brown. Oh, that just hurts my my ears are bleeding. Now I'm hot <laughs> and my ears are bleeding. Just a just a toad. Oh, no. <laughs> we are everything we hate. Just a just a pig of a fish. Oh gosh. All right. Gosh. Okay. Back to so fishing. Much. Back to fishing. get to open the inaugural flask the first whiskey of the year night. Vermont night <laughs> first night whiskey first night whiskey <laughs> good good specification I'll warm you up well we well, it wasn't bad I'm gonna relocate. I wasn't great. Yeah, let's do it. Trevor's on the board with a whiskey. Yeah. I've got some dinks. <laughs> we got a bass. We got a bass. <laughs> the token bass. I'm gonna relocate, see if we can get it done before the end of the night. It's one o'clock right now. So. There's fish to be had. We're in the dead zone. The, the night is still young. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we've, got, we've got another two good hours of fishing. <sighs> We'll At see. least. <laughs> <laughs> Big fish, Josh. This is getting out of hand, and Trevor keeps catching big fish. I can't help fish. I have like deficient hands, I think. There we go. Got a better one. Heck yeah, man. I just missed one. I'm gonna give him one more shot and then I'll come up. Good deal. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> the near namer. <laughs> 23 inches. It's close. It is close. You were gonna have to get creative and pick a name after a long night of Casting and casting and casting. About time. <laughs> Feeling like happened. there was no hope anymore. That's true. You cash in with the biggest fish of the night. <laughs> Sheets is a good way to end the night. Yeah, Sheets is a good way to end the night. <laughs> Even if it's 3 a.m. Mozzarella sticks and shakes. <laughs> the shakes seem to give me the... The shakes. <laughs> I might have to skip a shake yeah. tonight.